I media is always special uh, because I think it, it it attracts the best of marketers, the best of digital leaders who are doing cutting edge work in their categories to come network with each other, understand and share each other's problems. Uh, it's more like a family and friends uh, where everybody is very open and uh, very candid about the challenges that they face and they're seeking answers. The problem with a, let's say, single day conference or even a city based conference is everyone is busy with their own uh, work. They're not uh, fully there. They're there but they, they might be on their phones or they might still be attending meetings or going out of the conference, going back to the office and again coming back. But no one is fully there, mentally there. In addition to that, it, the evenings are always like uh, wonderful, uh, poolside parties etc. So business with pleasure ensures that networking is optimal. And the sharing of knowledge was immense. Uh, there are very few convocations which I see wherein the sharing is so fluid. This was one of them. You know, you have to keep yourself abreast of what is happening. Each one of us have very busy schedules. We don't get uh, the time out for learning as much as we would like to. So I think if you could spend three days just to focus on your own learning, um, I think uh, it's very little to ask. I treat content and ads separately because content should be driven by engagement and nothing else. Backtracking and deletion on social media is not a good thing. It is not. <laughs>I think iMedia has kind of evolved in the sense of many things from what it was maybe for example when it started off life and what it is now and I see a lot of change more from I think what iMedia is doing to be in tandem with time so whatever is more relevant what's really going to be the future and I think what I liked particularly this time was even getting in the venture cap community as well which was not earlier seen maybe sort of say for example where it began life so it's not really going only for the CMO but it's taking the entire community to a large level as well. You guys changed the concept from panel discussion to case studies. I think that was relevant because in three days, power pack, uh, I got to hear 15, 50 plus more brands talking about their case studies. I think that was really interesting for me. The real standout for me, I think, is the amount of conversation that there's been around content and storytelling, and particularly the sense of purpose that brands are taking on. Um, we've heard from a lot of speakers that have made it very obvious that that's the direction that the industry is moving in, that you know, there is this real shift towards content, which is exciting to hear, but also sort of validating to hear from where I sit in the industry. Facilitation is nothing but having important tools embedded as content into your website. Anything which is ex-tech, you know, fashion tech, finance, te fintech, you know, ed tech, you know, tech is an enabler, but the real thing is that X, you know, it's the fashion, it's the finance, it's the ed. You have some top 100 brands of the country sitting out here. Here you have the decision maker or the person closest to decision maker coming out and being available for you for two, two and a half days. To get a meeting with any one of us for 30 minutes, I don't think so it's that easy because then you have to come through an entire ladder. Whereas here you get to see the decision maker and if you are not present there, it's a loss for both of us. And at the end of the day, I think that's that's what matters, right? It's not classroom, It's it, it breaks, uh, breaks the entire system of conventional uh, learning. But you meet some amazing people who are doing amazing stuff. I think that's, that's the bottom line. Tongue in cheek, um, I'm gonna update my LinkedIn profile now. People who actually update their photographs are twice as likely to be discovered. Uh, I'm going to order more food from Zomato. I'm going to install Zomato. Guess why? Because I love the fact that they have values. Obviously so. And I think I've become a wine expert now. <laughs>